I've had no end of trouble doing this, getting this far, so I'm just going to have one go at this, and that's going to be it, I think. Um, what I'm going to try and talk to is a guacamole recipe, an online guacamole recipe. That's what I found. Here we go. The first thing you need a sharp knife. The second knife. The first ingredient you need is a grenade. I've actually had a look online. It's very difficult to find grenades online. I've tried these sites. Um, the most helpful answer I got in the end was from this fellow here who says who says of course you can if you have enough money you can find a black market dealer or maybe a crooked private dealer who will sell you almost anything which I think is your best bet for this particular recipe okay so if we're cracking on with the video the next part is make sure you remove the pool ball from the centre it's always fun scoop it out so you want to start laying it out into a bowl and get a baseball peel your baseball let's just have a quick look first and halve your baseball um, baseballs should be pretty readily available online there you go I don't think you'll have any trouble getting hold of a baseball I'm not sure exactly how much they are anyway you've halved your baseball now dice it slice it and then dice it and I get those nice and small big lumps of baseball in the guacamole and chuck those in as well and the novelty tomato pin cushion I searched for they're all over the place I don't worry about that I can actually have a look Mm. There we go. There's one. One pound thirty-six. That's not too bad. So you need a special machine, apparently, to do that. Apparently, you could probably just do that with a knife if you wanted to. Uh, golf ball next. If you run it out like that, then it juices it up inside and makes it easier when you put it into the garlic squash, garlic press. And a light bulb, which you should also be able to find probably from your local uh, hard, local uh, DIY store. You chop that, get that in there. A little bit of salt and pepper. Smush that all up nicely. Leave some nice big chunks in there. And nice mat. There you are. And serve with chips. Voila. So you know that always happens.